Tracy here. Welcome to my channel. Today I feel strong enough to tackle this. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful land full of hopes and dreams and fairy dust. Then one day, the evil clutter queen came and slowly but surely wiped away the beautiful land, filling it with clutter and junk and all sorts of stuff. Will there ever be a queen of clean to come and rescue the land and restore it to its once glorious state? I don't know. To be continued. I was going to start on that big table, but I, I feel like this is a little bit easier for me to tackle first. Just going to worry about looking for things I can throw away, looking for things that I can donate. I love it when I find one thing to throw away. <laughs> Trash, donate. These plates have been holding on for a long time. I'm ready to let those go. This kitchen, this is goes in my tape thing. Oh, more stuff. All this can go in places inside. These right here are solar lanterns and they weren't working. So I wanna just see. I tried charging them both ways. They don't work, they're bye bye Before I just start automatically putting things into closets and sheds and bins, I'm going to go through all of these. So let's see, this is art supplies. This is art supplies. This is art supplies. Some more art supplies. Oh goody, Tina's love to throw away trash. I got a big trash bag. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Okay, throwing away trash is one thing, but this? Are there bugs? I'm scared. I guess I'm just gonna dive right in. Ew. It's all wet. Ew. Ew. Oh, I hope there's no creatures in here. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god, it's looking at me. Ew. What am I gonna do? Oh my god, what are they doing? Wait, what are they doing? I do not know how I feel about this project now. I had to move this operation inside because one of my neighbors started to play really loud music. So what I've got here is a table and I've set it up. So I've got my keep pile, not sure pile, and my donate pile. So I started pulling things out and I had to stop for a second. So this is like the third thing I've pulled out. I have had it for, I don't know how long, like 15 years maybe? I was like looking at it and I'm like, well, I've never, I can't remember ever wearing it. And then I had like a moment of, but I don't want to get rid of it, do I? Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell myself to do. I'm going to go through as quickly as possible and try to keep my emotions and my stories out of it. Because the fact of the matter is, I've had it for 15 years. I probably have never worn it. I have no use for it. Why would I keep this? Why? It's, it's not real. I got this at a thrift store that had like a bin and everything was like under $5. And this was one of them. So at the most, I paid $5 for this 15 years ago. And I'm pretty sure I've never worn it. So you know what? It's, it's like I am need to focus, take my emotions out of it and be clear and realistic. How long have I had it? That's a big one for me. Like how long have I had this and not used it? I need to just cut my losses and let it go. So I'm gonna go through this as emotionless as possible. Start off by showing, I have two things in the donate pile. I have all of this in my, I'm not sure, pile. That is my keep pile. I'm actually really scared. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there anything else in here? Oh God, okay. Tina's don't believe in defeat. Tina's don't believe in giving up. Push through. Just push through. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to clean that up. Oh, there's a lizard. Ah! Okay, um, <laughs> um, I don't know what to do here. There's like stuff in here, bugs and things. Ooh, there's a big roach. Oh, 
Okay, um, maybe we come back to this one. Seven months, six, seven months ago when I decluttered and reorganized my art supplies, I was not ready to part with any of this. I know for a fact, logically, rationally, realistically, I do not need all of this glitter ever. Like ever, ever, ever. I use like a tiny little smidge and I tend to use the same colors like over and over again. I'm moving towards not using it at all. You know what? It's not even worth saving any of it because it's just gonna make a huge mess if I transfer any of it. So I'm just donating this to my childhood art teacher. <laughs> I don't know if they use glitter actually. This makes such a mess, you know? I probably, I, I'm just gonna let it go. Maybe if I shake it, all the bugs will run out and then I can like finish this. Oh. You see, there they all are. Ooh. Okay, I need a new bag for this one just in case it like overflows. Okay. I would like to tell you how optimistic my friend Tracy is. She only brought out two garbage bags. <laughs> she thinks Tina's funny. <laughs> she really only brought two. Two garbage bags. <laughs> so this color was full. I went ahead and halved it. I'm gonna get rid of this. And yo, this is still like a ridiculous amount of this color. But it's less, right? It is less. And that is a miracle. And I'm getting my art supply decluttering muscles stronger by doing this. That's what I'm telling myself, right? It may seem like, yeah, but this is still way too much. And she already has way too much. It's a yes, but this is less. I'm proud of this moment. It's just made me a little bit stronger. This bag was full. This is what I'm gonna get rid of. So that's half. I got rid of half of that bag. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with these that I'm not sure about, I'm gonna say expires November. I think there's 30 days in November, right? November 30th, 2022. Okay, I'm putting an expiration date on these bags. And then, so and then I'm putting on my calendar right here, December 1st, it's time to declutter my expired items. So I remember I need to go through all the stuff that I'm decluttering right now that I'm not sure about, I'm gonna put this expiration date and then December 1st is when, if I haven't used it, I can let it go now. And that just takes out a lot of the stress and emotion of push and pull and should I, shouldn't I, I'm not ready, I don't know. And that's not to say I'm not gonna declutter further the things that I think I wanna keep. I'm gonna put them all in the bin and I'm gonna go through all of them again at that time, but at least this way, I feel like I'm still making progress. It may not look like I got rid of a lot of stuff, but I got rid of enough. It's fine, it's it's fine. This is, this is less. Oh, it's full of water. Oh no. Okay, all right, let's see if I can. Oh my goodness. What the? All right, this is something different. Okay. Okay, all right, well, there we go. Okay, no creatures in here. I don't know about this bucket. I have to throw that away. So out of this whole box, I'm keeping these two. Everything else, I'm gonna donate to the art teacher. This whole thing is going to the art teacher. I think Tracy needs a little help to move things along. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, what do we got? Container, that's good. Trash, 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 trash. What else we got in here? Trash, trash, trash. Ooh, so dusty. Oh, gross. Oh, actually, oh, that was some chalk. Oh, well. okay. And then monies needs to wash this off. And then I guess, I don't know what she wants to do with all of this yet. So I'm going to leave it, but um, let's wash this stuff. I have all this heavy duty Velcro. Having a hard time deciding if I want to get rid of that. This is a, like a candle abra. 
have never used it, obviously, by it's still in the packaging. And let me tell you about these plates. Okay, the thing about these plates is normally I use disposable plates uh, for my painting art palette. Not great for the environment, and I recognize that. So my plan is, once I've gone through all of those, it's, I'm gonna start using these plates that are reusable for my painting palette. I don't know if I need this many sitting around, let me think about this for one minute. I think I have a solution that will satisfy us both. <laughs> I pulled these out of the kitchen cabinet right now, so there's four plates. I'm gonna replace them with these four plates. They match perfectly. You would have thought they would have come as a set. And what works out great is look at how much less real estate they take up. I mean, that's like, almost half of what this the room it takes up so that's awesome i decided candle abra is a expire i thought of something i might use this velcro for so i'm gonna hold on to it for now i've got three boxes and this one i'll give to the art teacher honestly i was gonna keep all four but the fourth one didn't fit in this bag so i figured that's a sign that i kind of let it go these are the frames that i'm keeping I am reducing this much. Doesn't seem like a lot, but the fact that I'm letting go of any is fantastic. These flowers need to fit in. I have one container. I do have another container. I would like to do one container if possible, but we'll see. Trash bags out here. <laughs> Moving along. Houston, we have a problem. The trash is full. Obviously, there's tons more trash that needs to go to the trash. Mmm, I have a feeling Tina's gonna get sent to the dump because we don't want a repeat of the dump pile of doom, do we? No, 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 no. It's a new day. You didn't think I was gonna get through all of that in one day, did you? <laughs> I kind of did actually think that I would get through it all in one day, but no, no. All right, so I have these two bins of tools. I'm honestly going to say I'm not expecting to get that much pulled out of here, but at least if I can reduce from two bins to one, that would be great. I pulled out one thing that I can throw away. So, hey, one is better than none. Okay. These can actually all go in that bin I just had, and then these go separately, and then this I can get rid of. Another thing I got rid of, yay. Now that I've pulled these out, at first I was thinking, oh my God, I have still so many, but actually this isn't as bad. These are all three different sizes. These are all three different sizes. These three are the same, but I don't know which ones work better than the other ones. So what I'm gonna do is kind of clean these up, figure out which ones work the best, and maybe I can reduce at least one of these. Here I am with more art supplies. This one might take a little bit more lack of emotion, rational thinking, rational thinking, logical lack of emotion. Because emotionally, I want to shut the lid and put it all back. But these are all brushes. These are easels. I've got four. I have all these wires. Sorry, I'm trying to get my thoughts together because this is this is more difficult. Okay. I don't use this type, this flat type as much. I'm going to hold on to two of these packs. I'm going to donate all of these to the kids. I'm going to keep one. Okay, maybe I'll keep two. I keep two, I give two. That's half. Okay. Now these wires I bought for a very specific project that is over. Rationally, realistically, I don't need all of these. I'll give half away. I'll keep half. This is half. Once I started thinking like with a more logical brain, it wasn't even that hard. So I was able to reduce these two bins into this bin still looks like a lot but it's less i think the kids can find some use from so i am letting go i must say of all of these 
I'm gonna get rid of this one, it's an odd size. I'm gonna keep these. In case you're wondering, I use these frames um, in a certain type of artwork that I do. Progress, not perfection. Time to get the trash bags out of here. little box has given me some anxiety <laughs> this is how like attached I can get to things or just like the idea of letting things go I racked my brain last night thinking what can I possibly use the PVC pipe connectors for so that I, I don't have to let them go and I did come up with a, a semblance of an idea but I'm gonna put an expiration date on these as well because if I haven't done that project by then then just too bad, like I can let these go. Not a lot that I have to declutter, so to say, because this is all stuff that I'm gonna be using for my home improvements, painting projects, etc. I did, however, find three of the uh, waterproof caulking. I need to caulk my bathtub and I need to caulk my kitchen sink area because I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So this will be a good project for a near future video. Stay tuned. So if you're watching this in the future, take a look for the link. I have a food saver. This is the only brand name uh, bags that are in here. This I'm going to keep. These were like third party off Amazon. They don't work. I'm gonna get rid of it. There is no point in saving something that basically doesn't work. got all the trash, all the trash bags and everything around. Um, but I think there's a few items that need to go to the dump because they're nasty. So I'm gonna make that Tina decision and say these things have to go to the dump because they're trash. Okay, so this table, this is like all sticky icky and it isn't gonna come off. I vote for this going to the dump. This little table has had its day and it's time to go to the dump. This little thing's been sitting in the rain. This can go to the dump. This thing needs to go to the dump. Oh, look, there's a little creature. Anyway, this needs to go to the dump, but I can't do that myself, so it shall stay. The car's all packed and ready to go to the dump. Look at how the containers I emptied. There's three bins plus this basket. This whole bag is um, the, the art supplies getting donated. The only thing, I am donating besides the art stuff are those pink plates, but I have to wash them. So they're not going, uh, they're not going to go in this box just yet. Believe it or not, this is actually a lot less than it was because there's stuff in here that was not in here before and it's still more organized and neat and it's a work in progress. While the land has not been fully restored to its former glory, things sure are looking brighter around here. I mean, you didn't really expect it to be like fully restored yet, did you? I mean, it's not like this is a fairy tale or anything. <laughs> if you want to find out if it ever does make it to its former glory, please subscribe. <laughs>